Hi, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Santa Clara Valley. Santa Clara Valley is located south of the San Francisco Bay between the Santa Cruz Mountains and the Diablo or Mount Hamilton Range. The history of Santa Clara County is rich with stories of Spanish and Mexican settlement, the romance of the Gold Rush era, the pastoral beauty of abundant orchards, post-war suburbanization, the race to the moon, and the invention of the silicon chip. There are a large number of cities located in the Santa Clara Valley. For example, Campbell, Cupertino, Los Altos, Los Gatos, Milpitas, Mountain View, Morgan Hill, Palo Alto, San Jose, Santa Clara, Saratoga, and Sunnyvale. The California wine industry had an early start in Santa Clara County, fostered by European immigrants at places such as the Piketty Brothers Winery and Paul Maison's Mountain Winery, where every summer thousands of music lovers gather for music in the vineyards concerts. Technological innovations in the valley began with the military at Moffett Field but were fostered by advanced research taking place at Stanford University and private industries locating here. The innovative development of electronic devices such as the radio and amplifier, followed by new material of silicon, the microchip, and the home computer led to the term Silicon Valley. Recently, Sun Microsystems renovated the former Agnew Insane Asylum, the first modern mental hospital in California, to create a campus-like setting for its operations. Since the early, early 20th century, Silicon Valley has been home to the electronics industry. The industry began through experimentation and innovation in the fields of radio, television, and military electronics. Stanford University, its affiliates, and graduates have played a major role in the development of this area. Some examples include the work of Lee DeForest with his invention of a pioneering vacuum tube called the Audion and the oscilloscopes of Hewlett Packard. A powerful sense of regional solidarity accompanied the rise of Silicon Valley. From the 1890s, Stanford University's leaders saw its mission as service to the West and shaped the school accordingly. During the 1940s and 50s, Frederick Terman, as Stanford's Dean of Engineering and Provost, encouraged faculty and graduates to start their own companies. He is credited with nurturing Hewlett Packard, Varian Associates, and other high-tech firms, until Santa Clara Valley would become known as Silicon Valley, and this grew up around the Stanford campus. Terman is often called the father of Silicon Valley. William Shockley left Bell Labs in a disagreement over the handling of the invention of the transistor. Later, Shockley moved to Mountain View, California in 1956 and founded Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory. Shockley believed that silicon was a better material for making transistors instead of germanium, which was commonly used at that time. In 1957, Shockley decided to end research on the silicon transistor. As a result of Shockley's abusive management style, eight engineers left the company to form Fairchild Semiconductor. Shockley referred to these eight engineers as the traitorous eight. Two of the original employees of Fairchild Semiconductor, Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore, would go on to found 
Intel. Although semiconductors are still a major component of the area's economy, Silicon Valley has been most famous in recent years for innovations in software and internet services. Silicon Valley has significantly influenced computer operating systems, software, and user interfaces. Using money from NASA and the U.S. Air Force, Doug Engelbart invented the mouse and hypertext-based collaboration tools in the mid-1960s. Xerox hired some of Engelbart's best researchers. In turn, in the 1970s and 1980s, Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center played a pivotal role in object-oriented programming, graphical user interfaces, otherwise known as GUIs, Ethernet, PostScript, and laser printers. While Xerox marketed equipment using its technologies, for the most part, its technologies flourished elsewhere. Assortment of Xerox inventions led directly to 3Com and Adobe Systems, and indirectly to Cisco, Apple Computer, and Microsoft. Apple's Macintosh GUI was largely a result of Steve Jobs' visit to the Palo Alto Research Center and the subsequent hiring of key personnel. Cisco's impetus stemmed from the need to route a variety of protocols over Stanford's campus Ethernet. Silicon Valley is generally considered to have been the center of the dot-com bubble, which started from the mid-1990s and collapsed after the Nasdaq stock market began to decline dramatically in April 2000. During the bubble era, real estate prices reached unprecedented levels. For a brief time, Sand Hill Road was home to the most expensive commercial real estate in the world, and the booming economy resulted in severe traffic congestion. Even after the dot-com crash, Silicon Valley continues to maintain its status as one of the top research and development centers in the world. A 2006 Wall Street Journal story found that 12 of the 20 most inventive towns in America were in California, and 10 of those were in Silicon Valley. San Jose led the list, with over 3,800 utility patents filed in 2005. Number two was Sunnyvale, at over 1,800 utility patents. Google started as a web search engine, and now it's into cloud computing and advertising technology. And Gmail, Android operating systems. Globally, it's the most visited site in the U.S., India, and the U.K. Google also owns the site YouTube. So what started off as a predominantly agricultural valley has gone through many transitions through the years and now it is a diverse area where you still have agriculture but you also have military and high-tech or high technology influences. There's a lot to see in the Santa Clara Valley now also known as the Silicon Valley. And we hope you have enjoyed your tour around this area. Thank you very much.